I'm now going to cover the topic of how to add on non preset channels onto the Humax box here. This is a relatively simple process, uh, but there's implications to it. Okay, so we, to do this anyway, we simply press the menu button on the remote control, which is here. And what we do then is we come down as far as the setup menu, arrow across, and choose manual tune. And when we come to the transponder, we want to add a new transponder on. So what we'll do is to go for a user to find one. And um, I've written down here for Sky News, we'll say, which is probably the most common one that people want to add on. Um, it's zero, seven, um, and um, right down there. And the symbol rate is correct there. Okay, so we're willing to save that. So we'll just go down as far as the save option and save that okay um, so what we want to do now is we want to actually scan for that particular one so um, I'll arrow down here as far as the search option click search so what it just quickly does is it won't go through all the, uh, the things it simply goes through these ones here so it asks us would I like to save them and uh, so I'll simply say um, okay uh, by pressing save uh, or saving by pressing the OK button. And now what we do is we exit out. Okay, so we'll notice a dramatic change in the line up here now. Suddenly our 101s, our traditional uh, free satellite listing has totally changed. And we're now to a very different world, which is a sort of a free for all uh, angle here. Now we can, we can use the menu option to actually edit this channel list. But I just want to show you where um, it's added on the Sky News. Um, I think Past experience will be up in the five three hundreds. So now, so we can see here what we didn't have on this before, which is Sky News. We simply exit out. But you have to think what we're losing here. We're losing um, the channel listings, which people quite like in terms of free set. And also we're losing some of the automatic channel updating things of like that because rather than using it in free set mode, we're effectively using it as a free to air box. So for me, um, you know the the advantages of having a channel like Sky News compared to the disadvantages um, certainly would make this option a very attractive one for people. Now free set could have made this much easier for people and made it much easier to integrate extra channels. But when we think about it, Sky could have made their other channels option much simpler on their Sky boxes and they didn't. And they did because it, they want to maintain the order of channels and um, increase the value of the actual brand name of FreeSat as Sky want to control who's looking at what channel on their boxes. So, you know, I suppose it's fair game from that perspective. So anyway, you've given, given an overview of it, but as you can see anyway, it's probably not a feature that many people will take advantage of, but you can actually add on these extra channels onto the box.